why you should be afraid of GPT-3 and all the AI that is coming out now that is going to replace all the development jobs. With that out of the way, no, that's not how it's going to happen because the worst thing that you could do is listen to somebody say something on YouTube that will discourage you or prevent you from getting into learning how to code today. And so I will give you my views and tell you why you should be excited for all these AI tools that are coming out that are going to not only help you to become a better developer, but help you to be more efficient and effective when writing code. Before we jump into the videos, I also want to say thank you all for stopping by. I know there's so many other channels out there. So Thank you for choosing mine and letting me share my thoughts. And what I'm going to do is to take a look with you at the GPT-3 chat, what it is capable of, and share my thoughts on why this is a good thing rather than the bad thing. Just like when the keyboard replaced the typewriter and the DVDs replaced VHS, and now we have digital media and so on, the medium changes, but you still need experts or people to be able to use the new technology. So the people that do lose out and miss out, and if you were to worry, this would be the thing, is if when the keyboard and the personal computer replaced the typewriter, if you were still stuck trying to use the typewriter to do your work, yes, you will be lost. Just when DVDs came out and replaced VHS, if you were still stuck and like, I'm going to continue to use VHS and you did not adapt and you did not pivot, yes, this is going to hurt you. So in my mind, what we should do is embrace all this new technology that is coming out and figure out ways to help us use it to make our lives easier and not to fight it. So there was a book that I read called The Average is Over, and it was written a while ago, but they talked about this idea of AI coming on and taking away and replacing some jobs, even though that might be the case. But if you were to hedge and try to stay relevant, the people that will continue to have opportunities are the people that are going to embrace AI and all the technology associated with it and work together with AI tools to be even more effective and more efficient. And before we jump into the video and I'll give you my thoughts, I'm going to have ChatGPT to actually answer this question for us. So let's ask our AI overlords this question. Will AI replace developers in the next 10 years? Let's see what it says. It says it's unlikely that AI will replace developers in the next 10 years. While AI has made some impressive advances in recent years, still not capable of replacing the complex problem solving and critical thinking skills that are necessary for software development. Additionally, AI systems require a great deal of data and computing power to function, and they are not yet able to adapt to situations and environments as easily as humans can. Not satisfied with this answer? Let's try again. And I like this answer even better. It is unlikely that AI will completely replace developers in the next 10 years. While AI may be able to automate some tasks and make the work of developers easier, it is unlikely to be able to fully replace the creative and problem-solving skills of human developers. AI is better at performing tasks that are highly structured and predictable, but many of the tasks that developers perform require flexibility and the ability to adapt to new situations. Additionally, development of AI technology is still in its early stages. So it is unlikely that it will be able to completely replace human developers in the near future. So before we take a look at some code examples that GPT-3 is able to be produced, which is awesome, I just wanna share my thoughts and feelings of how I feel about this. Like I said before, the coolest thing about this is that this is going to help you to learn development faster or any applicable field and will allow you to use it as your second brain to be able to solve problems quicker. When it comes to creating completed projects from scratch, GPT-3 or any other AI code solution just can't do. If you think about it, projects start from an idea. There's a business problem that you're trying to solve. You plan that idea, you talk to clients, you do market research. There's so many other things that go into involvement and the requirements from the project change. And so AI is not able to take all that context together. It's not able to go to meetings with other developers or customers, talk about the improvements all the way in the process. So instead of thinking, 
will AI replace developers? Ask yourself, how can I use this amazing tool to help me to get better? Now, I tried GPT-3 and there are some things it does really, really well, but I also tried some of the things that I do know the answer to and the answers that I got from GPT-3 were not the answers I was looking for. So we still need the human driver to direct, to give appropriate prompts to the AI to help you find the answer. So let me first show you where it shines and then we could talk more about it. Although I could ask GPT-3 to generate a function and it might do a good job because this is trained based on the data that exists and it just takes all those things into context and literally is a smarter way to Google things. And so what it's basing its response is based on all the previous data that it has gathered. So one of my ideas is to create an app where I'm able to take a video, take the audio and transcribe it to text and be able to do cool things with it. I don't know where to start, but I know there's an amazing software that was created by Camtasia called Aditate, I can't pronounce the word, that has a similar function. So let's ask ChatGPT3 with help. How to create an app similar to Camtasia's Aditate to transcribe video to text with time codes using Node.js. Let's see what it says. So here's an answer and it tells us to create an app similar to Camtasia's out of date. These are the following steps you should take. Use a library for an API to extract audio from video, use speech to text library or API to transcribe audio into text and so on. So it gives us a general outline, which helps us to find our way and at least have a directions to where we want to go. So let's ask a follow up question to see if we could get a code example. Write a function on how to transcribe audio from video, including type codes in Node.js. So here we have an example, and this is not the complete solution. What I want everybody to pay attention here is that, yes, maybe this code works and we won't know until we try it, is that now we have a great starting point where I didn't know how to do something and asking GPT-3 for an idea, we now have a starting point and I could explore all these different things. So for me, I'm not afraid of GPT-3 taking our developer jobs, but I'm more focused on the fact that this is a great learning tool for us to have a more effective and efficient way to research things that we wanna do. Let's ask one more question. So now let's ask how to use IBM's text to speech to convert video to text with time codes. And let's not forget in Node.js. So let's take a look at the example. Here's a sample function for transcribing audio from video file, including type codes information using Node.js. And they'll show us what we need to do, the libraries we have to import. And again, this is not really going to complete or take over our job for us, but it's a great research tool for us to learn about things that maybe we don't know and to give us a direction of which we could go. So if you are worried about GPT-3 taking your job, don't be, but instead embrace it as a great researching tool to help you do your job better. So if you're a new developer and you're scared by this AI revolution, don't be. As you could see, it's not quite going to do your work for you or replace you. The most important part is think of this as your own personal assistant that could help you get your job done faster. So instead of freaking out, continue learning to code, continue to learning new things, moving forward. And if you try to break into the field, don't let the gloom and doom talk of AI scare you from getting started. The worst thing that you could do is not make the decision to start learning to code today because of something you heard from a YouTuber about AI because you think it's hopeless. The truth is, it is not. And I'm excited because we now have better tools to help us do our jobs faster. The one caveat that I would say when getting to web development, you know that AI is now going to be part of our life. So what I would say, don't be that VHS VCR repair person. And if you don't know what VHSs are, I'm dating myself. Or you could say CD-ROM DVD repair person when now we have digital media. Adapt with the time. So the best thing you could do, continue to learn what you are doing, but be aware of all the tools that exist like Copilot, like this GPT-3 chat, 
and use it to your advantage to help you level up your own skills and get better at getting the information that you need. And as you could see with this, the best part about it, no, it is not going to take away my job, but it allows me to do research faster in terms of the projects that I wanna build. And I don't wanna make this video too long, but I had many cases where I asked for a question and code, and it did not give me the correct response that I was looking for. So as a developer, I still need to make the final decision if that's the code I wanna use. So use it as a learning tool to help you be productive faster and don't be worried about the doom and gloom of AI taking us over. And so I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you didn't smash the like or subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. And again, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Like I said before, there's so many other channels out there. So thank you for choosing mine and I'll see you all later.